Hello, good morning, everybody. Hi, wave if you can. Ah, oh, thank you, God. I'm so happy to see your little faces today. Who's still got their pajamas on? Yeah. <laughs> Andrew just said to me, because, um, you know, for those of you that are regulars and recognize lots of faces, um, for those of you that are, you'll know that I've got an earpiece and I'm talking to Andrew, who's up in our gallery, and he's counting me and he's going five, four, Andrew, hit record, hit record, because he hadn't actually recorded it so that you can watch it back. Right. Crazy, crazy day here. Um, gosh. Um but we've got the Nook. And this was one of the fastest selling out products that we've had for, um, well, pretty much since we started. And I'm gonna to talk to you about a lot of stuff that we can do with this to really make this um, earn its place in its craft stash and, and be the valuable product that you guys have paid for. And what's exciting is I'm already starting to see some stuff on social that you guys have actually made. So congratulations to everybody. Um, it looks phenomenal, really does look phenomenal. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through some of the boards with you and talk about some features that we've got here and what makes it this product so special. And I'm also, um, while I'm at it, I'm just going to apologise for the fact that I am, have got quite a bit of paint on me and um, I probably should have gone to casualty because I've got no nails. Oh no, they're salons that do those. I've not been in one of those for a long time. But yeah, anyway, let's talk about the nook. So um, the wall, when I designed this wall, I spent a lot of time just talking about what would make it different and there were a few things. So first of all, as a die itself, having this edge to it on either side, and you know that it's nested and you've got all, you've got all the different sizes, but having these different edges was really important. And then I'm just going to turn it over so that you can see none of them were designed straight and that was done on purpose. Now, if you look at it from this side, I think you can imagine now that if we were to bring you some new artwork, which we are going to be doing, you can imagine this as a um, an image with the, that's still a brick wall, but we could do this as a winter wall. So we're going to be bringing you this wall as a winter wall. So what will happen there is where we've got the foliage coming down, we're going to be able to make that into snow. And where we've got the foliage down here, we're going to be able to put a little snow drift. So I think this at this will then give you a whole new look as to what you can do with it. But we're going to focus on the collection itself at the moment. And those little recesses that we've got here are perfect for us to take the flowers into on either side. So these are the actual images and the sizes that you get. Now, the little flowers that you've got here, these were cut so that they sit inside the actual wall itself. So these little um, curved edges will sit like that inside the wall. If I turn it over, you can see how that fits there. But if I then fold these pieces, so I'm just gonna fold them, there and fold them back like that. What you can do is I can actually get this so that it, uh, it will stand away from the wall itself. So I'm going to do a little bit of gluing and sticking and show you how we're going to make that work so that you get that extra little bit of dimension that we um, we haven't got at the moment. So you can see if I put it on flat, so if I glue along this line there and I glue that in, it's gonna be completely flat to the wall. But if I fold this up like this and then fold it back again and I put the glue there, I can then, I can push this back and get this to, to shape. But if I put my glue on the white side and I put that on, 
you've got you immediately you can see that shadow and there's a gap in there for us to be able to put things so that's one of the things that was sort thought through for you so they're the different sizes now the houses really important these are houses where we again we can slip into them i'm going to show you a little bit of that and i'll do that in fact as i go along i'm going to show you some different elements of this so these are the little houses so let's look at how we can make these into multiple designs so first of all different places that i can snip so i'm going to snip up here and sorry i think andrew's just asking me a question oh um okay donna so she's just asked if there are any papers to go with this collection um i'm going to double check that and if there aren't i'm going to make sure we find some that there are because I do believe there were some backgrounds that we chose. So there's a full house. There's part of a house. And they are the same size, those two. But, but it's an illusion that this one looks so much smaller. Um, so there is a scenes download, Donna. We'll put the link in the chat. It's actually six pounds and it's down from 15 pounds. So you get your discount as well if you're a club member. So you can see I've got those three houses there, but I'm just gonna get another one the same color so that we can see this. But I've also got another one here. So I'm just gonna get this one here. And this one will go just here so got that one so we've now got four houses from that set but then let me show you the next part of it so that's one of them there then I'm going to take this one and place it there so I've got sort of like a little um, another house behind it and I'm also going to take this part and I'm just going to take off that chimney and I'm going to place this whoops I lift up this one just there like that so it looks like this house has got a, a more a, a bigger extension and that one's going to go there. So I've gone from a tiny house to this great, lovely look, sort of row. But then we start to add in different dimensions of houses. So if I pop this one behind, you can see it looks like I've actually got, let me move this one up. So put that one there, that one there, that one there. I'm going to move this all over. So the piece that came off the side of there, that piece, goes to the edge of there. And what we have to do is we have to line it up at the roof. That's the most important part. Then this one goes behind here, like that, lined up at the roof. So it's all still part of the same building. This one becomes another building further away. I then take another one of those and put it next door. So we've got two houses next door. And you can see how we're suddenly building up the street that we actually want to create. Now, to make this street look even more um, full, what I would do is, and I'm, so I'm just going to work on this house here, and then I'll sh and then bring that back so you can see more depth of the street. So first of all, this is the house that I'm going to work with. I'm just going to take off that chimney, and then this. I'm going to work with foam today because it means it dries much. You know, it's instantly dry, so we can see the the shape that we've got. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pull the edge of the house around. So I'm literally taking that little edge there and just shaping it round 
there. Not this edge, but this one, the outer edge. So when I lay that over the top, like that, lift it up, you'll see how it's curved round. You see that's perfectly curved, whereas that side isn't. So this one you can see into, and you can actually see the white edge, whereas that one has cloaked and it's curved. So that's the first part of it. Then the next part of it is I need the whole of this piece. And for this one, I'm going to cut back this side. So really simple cuts. So I'll just cut back that part of it. And actually, I'm going to keep that bit of greenery. So I've kept that little bit of green there. I need to get rid of this bit here. Let me just see how I'm doing. Um, I'm going to want to bring that piece. I'm going to need to keep that piece. And I'm going to need to just keep this piece. And then I'm going to cut into there and there and there. So you can see the pieces that I've saved, which are there okay so i'm just going to pop that over here and the reason that we cloak the edge is because i've got this piece there that i'm sort of i've treated it like i've gutted and then on this piece i'm going to just shape that part of the roof in that part of it under and that part of it to the side and when i put my foam on i need to go double height so because this one's already one layer, so this one's going to be two. So we'll get two layers of foam up here. And I'm going to need a tiny little bit of green for that. So we'll get you there, shape, shaped all around. So that's that little bit of greenery. Uh, I think that should be enough. So let's get this and the other thing that I would do everybody is I'd be backfilling my um the the with my silicon or my glue gel now the other thing I just want to show you this so where you've got white edges like this it can look unsightly so if you take an alcohol marker oops chosen the dark brown so you're not going to see it and I'm just going to colour those white pieces of card. Look at the difference. That's So that side's been coloured, that side hasn't. Look, it makes such a difference. So we'll just on there such a difference it makes it look so much more professional i'm just going to swap nibs because that nib seems to be a little bit dry that's oh, easier it's always easier with the flat nib too so much so much better and then into oh you are super dry aren't you into that little bit too there. So once you've done that, this is now ready to go onto here. And I'm just gonna layer that up, making sure that I've got all the dimension in place. That little curve that I created there, adding a bit of detail to the design. It's gonna get this in place and pressed down firmly. So just there and make sure that that curve is in. So now you can see how much detail we've got to the house. So look at this, this is where it gets really exciting. So I'm just gonna layer that up now, there. Put that one behind and look at the difference that that has made. It looks so dimensional. It really does add something to the detail of the design. Whoops, even when it slides off. 
So I'm just going to pop that back. Let's have another, just get that nice and level there and just pop that one behind again, just there. And look at how I've extended that. So we've gone from this to this really makes such a huge difference. So I'm going to glue this down because this is going to form part of my project in a few moments. So I'm just going to use my, my Pinfair book binding glue and let's get you there. I'll get that little bit of white glue to dry. So that's that one. And then I'm just going to go, oh, that's quite hefty. So with that, I'm just going to go onto it and pull that back to there. And of course it dries clear, so don't have to worry. Right, so now I've got a fabulous three-dimensional property. And the only thing that I might want to do is make this piece dimensional. Now, if I did, what I would do there is not take the whole door, but just take part of it. So I would take literally the top of the porch. So it would be this piece that would get the dimension, not the other part. So into there, and I'm just going to take out that piece. And I'm just going to share with you a little cutting technique, a little cutting tip. So I'm just going to pop this on. So you'll have seen me do this a few times. So I want this piece of tape really thin. So I'm going to put a piece of the liner on that I was waste. And that then allows me, whoops, if I get it in place, piece of the liner on. It then allows me to cut through this without getting my scissors sticky. So super easy to work with. And I then get my small piece that I need. And that will go onto there. And that will then go onto my roof. Let's get this piece stuck. Come on the back off you so it won't be a second everybody thank you for your patience only ever sticks when you don't want it to we'll get that out of the way and that little piece will go on top just there right now i haven't colored that with the marker pen so i wanted to share a little tip with you when you're cutting out so as I'm coming, I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to share this tip with you. And I want you to just look at the angle of my scissors. So when I'm cutting, I'm cutting and I've got the scissors almost laid flat to the card that I've got. So I'm not vertical. I've got them almost laid flat. And as I cut like that, what happens is it pulls the edge of the card over it gives me a really good clean edge here and it keeps it very um, dark. This side is where the white edge is. And if I just pull that on there, you can see that I've got a little bit of a white edge where the paper is, whereas on this side, it's actually cloaked over and it's pulled it over. So the angle of your scissors can actually change what happens to the paper and how you build it up. But there you go. So we've got a lovely piece of decoupage and we've made our house into a little mini mansion, which looks fabulous. So all of these pieces are going to go to one side. We're going to use those in a moment or two for our um, decoration. We're going to come on to our flowers. So these, you know, this was a these were fabulous dyes because you've got the depth of the dye but then it builds it up into mini bouquets, which looks really effective. And you've got those across different multiple designs. They then work perfectly with our bench. And again, this one 
has got dimension to it. So you could, again, you can layer it up and create a 3D bench. Then we've got our little birds with our catkins. And there are more catkins to come in future collections because we're gonna to want to be able to build up a little catkin tree. You'll see how that's coming together. And then of course, all of the little birds that go with that one. Right, so now let's start to assemble this project from start to finish. So I've got my, um, my lovely design here and we've got it so that it is quite large. Now, I'm just gonna work on a piece of card, which I will get out. One second. So I hope everybody's having a really good week this week because there's so much crafty stuff to be able to do. Now, um, let's have a look at it. So we'll go with this one there. And I want to pop the cottage in amongst the nook. And when I put the cottage in, you can see that by doing that decoupage, it really lifts it up and it's making the whole thing stand forward of the design. So if you, I show you this, you can see how that's standing forward and proud. So what I want to do is I want to bow this just slightly so that A, we can see a bit more of the cottage, but also it accommodates this extra dimension that we've put in. And then I can play with the position of where we put it. But I just think that the opportunity that you've got to make these really pretty cards really does stand out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this, I'm gonna stick these two things together but I'm going, to make a ta I'm going to make tabs and tabs that are going to allow this to bow and stand out so that this can go inside and I can use it with one of my backgrounds. So coming into my pack and I've got all of these lovely backgrounds. So these are from my stash. I think this one is perfect. perfect. Um, so our stash from the Nook, the Nook download. So that gives you what we're looking for here. So pop that, those, that one together. Now, just going to have a look at how this works. So, I haven't got my die cutting machine set up, but what I would suggest is that you take your die cutting machine, put your die over the top of it so that it fits perfectly behind this panel. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I am just going to cut mine. So I'm going to trim it across here and cut into this because that's all I'm going to need. Okay. So let's have a look there. My frame helps if my frame's the right way up, doesn't it? So there we go. So, uh, Andrew was just laughing at me. He just said, oh, it could be a ceiling with plant pots hanging from it. I don't think so, Andrew. So we're just going to get that detail there. He's, he can be quite cheeky, can't he? Right, okay, I'm just making sure that I really like the way that this panel's coming together because at the moment it doesn't quite feel right. Where are we? There, I think it needs to go down as low as there. It does to make this look right. So now what we look like we've got is we've got the drive at the front of the house and the foliage coming up to the side of it and then this lovely arch across the back. So this might be so that the, the house is up against um, a, a bridge. So the bridge, this could be the bridge that's going underneath it, but you've got all of that dimension with everything coming forward. So I'm going to start off by just putting some glue around the outside edge of this design. 
here. If anybody's got any questions, please don't forget to ask questions. Oh, and then the other thing I can mention to you, and I know for some of you this will, we are too far away, but we are also going to be starting a monthly craft club here at the highlight offices so people can actually come and, and craft with us once a month and just have a proper craft club, you know, community and all of that fun stuff that we love. So I'm just putting foam on, but I'm putting two strips of this on because I don't want, I want it to be well stuck. And then I'm going to add that in about there I think so we've got the detail of the pathway so now I've got the drive coming up to the house and all the detail around it but I need to be filling these areas to the side so I'm going to come into my florals I've got oh lots of them so I've got some of the ones that were from the collection which was part of the web exclusive but just use whichever your favorite florals so we'll use these ones you can see how it really is coming together and it looks completely different so that part of the nook isn't actually um isn't what's the word isn't actually being used as an aperture it's being used as part of the scene at the back so i'm adding the detail of the flowers to the side I'm adding the detail of these flowers to the other side, just here. So we'll get it so that it curves round. That one I'm going to move and I'm going to use this one so that that comes into the design. Bring it from that side because I've got a plump underneath there that I need to hide. So I'm going to take that. We'll just use a little bit of glue on this to get started. So some little dots of glue will be enough. And this is what I, I love about when we've got these collections and you can do something that is so different to what we, we originally planned and envisaged. And then let's pop this one just on the other side. So a little bit of glue ink here. And I'd love some feedback, guys. If anybody's able to give us some feedback on the Zoom classes, um, we're going to do a little survey in a few weeks' time to sort of get a bit more opinion on what you'd like to see and what you think of the level that we actually teach at. You know, could we be, should we be more complicated or, uh, you know, are you happy with the mix that we give you? Um, just that kind of thing, anything that can help us give you a better experience. So I'm just rolling over my foam so that I've got that little bit of extra height there. So I've got it single in some places and double in others. And I'm also going to use some wet glue. So just little bits of wet glue to get this also in place. So just get tiny little bit there and we'll bring that over this part so you can see how it goes from flat up to that dimension that makes it really this is a great little tip for you to use multiple heights of foam it just brings everything together and I'm just going to get a little bit more dimension in there and again here so I've just gone double height, which we'll put just there and then flat. So double height and flat here. And then with this piece, I'm going to snip into it and just create a little bit of decoupage. So snipped in just to there and here. And it's this little piece in the middle that I want. And this gets double height. And I, I toy sometimes with having this all done to show you or talking you through it as we do it because I think you learn so much more when we talk through it because you sort of hear my 
I guess my ramblings of why I'm doing what I'm doing. And that little piece with some shaping to it is going to go just there. So I've got, so you can see where the decoupage elements of this are now. So it's really, really started to come together. So what we've done is we've used the bottom of the, what was the patio element of it. We've used that to make the driveway for the house. We've decoupaged the house massively. We've then created this as if it's almost, it's got a, it's got the bridge above it. And you can see the house is there in its little, in the setting that we want. Then this panel that I've got here can then be used as um, an aperture to be able to open up the card and give us that dimension. And to do that, I need to mimic some of the things that I've done on the front. So what that means is coming into here and... We take the piece that we cut before, so I take that piece, and this piece needs to go, and I have to check the positioning because it wants to go in the same place. So that piece has got to go just there. So without the house, just this panel is going to go there. This one is going to go on the other side. So we'll pop that on. Again, that one's going to go there. Oops, and I'm doing this all upside down. And I didn't hear you shout at the telly once. Or Andrew, even tell me. There we go. So they go there. Ah, oh, thank you. Who was? Carol, thank you. I wish you could have shouted sooner. Or... Andrew says it's his fault for not seeing it. Thank you for that. Didn't take a moment before we realised, did it? Suddenly it just doesn't, doesn't all fit together. Where's the other pieces? Here they are. So we're going to go a little bit here. <laughs> Must be so frustrating for you guys when you're at home and you can see it's going wrong. You're there. No, and Andrew didn't notice, and normally he does, so there we go, so there. Now I need a little bit more blossom on the other side, so that piece gets taken out, and this gets some tape on it, and double layer, so that's, and then a bit of glue here, so this one, let's go here, like the fact that we've got these different colours of blossoming as well, they're looking good. So I'm holding that down for a second just to get that dome in place. Come on, there we go. Then over this side, I'm going to put just a little bit of the um, soft blossom, the, the smaller blossom. We'll put a little bit of that just there, over there. And we're going to put a little bit of this just there. So now this one lays over the top of that one. So you can see where some of the blossoms coming through. So that looks effective. Right now I've got to, these two need sticking together and hinging. Not worrying about the fact that you've got elements of that showing through. We want that to happen. So I need to just score here and I'm scoring quite with very little to the side. So just there and there and this gets some glue just there and there and that is going to stick. And I'm, don't mind that the flowers are coming out from behind. That's absolutely fine. Want it to be part of this story. So I'm then going to just crease that up on both sides, just like that. Okay. Right, then, I'll just let you go dry. Whoops. Just hold that in place for a moment. Now, you can do this by cutting slits, or you can do this by using 
a small piece of construction acetate and which I'm just going to get or you can make it from a bar of the actual product the design and I'm going to use a bar from the design because my construction acetate I haven't got my red liner tape so what I'm going to do is get one of these right and I need this part of it there okay and we need that part of it there so I mean this is in its own right as a card looks lovely so you open it and you've got the detail of the design inside and it just looks super pretty very delicate very very pretty very finished but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, and I should have put this on before, but didn't. This is just going to sit here like that, but on some foam. So what I need to do is I'm just going to get that to stick a moment. It isn't sticking. It's quite cold in here today, and I don't know whether that's doing it or whether it's the fact that this glue's had its lid off for quite a while, but it doesn't want to stick. So, Andrew, could you please ask one of the team to bring me some red liner tape? Because the, tape, the reel I've got is empty. It is empty and I haven't got another one. I've got every kind of glue going, but that. Yep. Right, so I'm just holding that for a moment. Right. Okay, just keep going. In fact, let me put something heavy on it for a second. So I'm just going to pop that under there while I can get that to dry so my hands are free. While I, oops, get that lined up properly. Get hands, free hands. Right, because I'm going to do a tab and make a little lock. So we need the piece that I've cut off a moment ago, which I've now lost, which is not there it's here thank you diane i was diane she was here for a moment and was gone just like the fairy godmother she is right so just got to double check which piece i need i'm just going to make sure that that's stuck if it hasn't stuck this time oh it has i'm just going to say if it hadn't stuck i'm going to get put the red liner tape on it Right, where's that panel come Come, I need to, this is the problem when you snip it off and you don't keep the piece that you just snipped. Instead of you guys having to wait, I'm going to snip again. There and there. So that's the, that's the panel that I need, that piece there. Okay, so that piece get snipped there and I need my tape there and there like this and I just need enough time to show you one other really clever little thing which I'm sure there will be so right so I've got those two pieces there now I really need this raised so what I've done is I've put that that on because my um tape hasn't been sticking properly let's see if I can do it lengthways and get that to stick from there just need a bit of height to this so we don't want it completely flat. So I've got tape there, tape there and foam there. And I'm hoping that what I've done, except I've put the foam on the wrong end. Oh, Stephanie, you ninny. You didn't know because you didn't know to tell me because you didn't know what I was doing. Let's see if I can do it without the foam. Right. So I'm just going to lift this up. And there's the piece that I was missing. Gosh, right. Let's go. We need to go in 
there and I need it slightly bowed, only the tiniest little bit, but it doesn't want to be completely flat. So I'm just going to slide this under my fingers. Right, there we go. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Now you can't, so you can't see that what I've done is I've got this catch in the wall, but if I just take my scissors, you can see that there, there's a little hole there. This bit needs to get glued back down. So I'm just going to glue that back down there. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I, you guys are lovely. You just, um, Fiona just said it's good I make mistakes because it makes you feel human. <laughs> I love it. Right, so what I've done then, so I've now got, so I should, st this has still got to be able to get my scissors through there. Come on. Definitely, yep. Yeah. Right, so I can still get my scissors in there. So I've made like a little belt loop. Okay, now I've got to line up my belt loop here. This is where this bit, right, come on, in we go, there and there. And that gets glued over the top. So let me just show you what I've done. I've cut a little tab there, push that back, and I'm now going to pull that across. And that needs to, so the tab's there, and that needs to get glued flat. That has come off again, so I'm going to use the red liner tape because I don't want to risk this happening. Let me take that off. So I'm going to go up there and trim get that down. Really burnish it on because it's definitely not wanting to stick today. And, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because we all know how good um, book binding glue is. It's absolutely probably one of the best glues on the market. And yet today it isn't sticking. Just a little bit cold in here. Right. So let's get you stuck. So I need it lined up that side. Stuck there. And stuck there. Check whether you are completely in place. Well, you're stuck, but whether you're in the right place is another matter. And you're not. Goodness me, I'm doing well today, aren't I, guys? Do you ever have days, though, where you just... doesn't matter what you do. I was painting the other day, and whatever I did, it just did not paint properly. Right, that's it. We've got it where we need it now, finally. But this piece has come up. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put some tape on it. Does not want to stick. And we're going to lift that and get this. I've pulled a, <laughs> I've pulled a flower off. Oh, I couldn't be doing better if I tried. Right, so that one's going to come off as well. You're going to come off, aren't you? That one up there. So let me just put a little bit of glue there. Right, okay, so... We've got the front of our house, of our scene, is all together. Everything's glued in place. We've opened it up now. We've got our decoupaged house and we've used the bricks as the patio, as the road. I've got a little tab here. And what's going to happen is this piece here is going to go like that into that tab and by doing that we're going to bow the front can you see let me show you that again so I'm going to pull this out and that tab that I've cut there goes into under there and that is how we're going to bow the front I think this is quite a clever little fastening so just slide it in like that and it doesn't look as good unless, I'm just going to slide it in there, you've done what we did, which was put the flowers in the same places as you did for all of it. So now it's bowed. Yay, it's all happened. It's all come together. And that will now 
stand up. Ah, I remember with this, I've got a little bit of bush just there that I need to just roll to the front, roll that tiny piece to the back, and that should be the difference. There we go. So there's our little house. You can see the dimension of the design, but this is the bit that makes it clever. The fact that that lines up with the brick wall and that literally tucks in like that. Right, I just wanted to share with you another little idea that I had while I was looking at this stall, this. And now I'm gonna, I am gonna be experimenting and this is me thinking this on the hoof, but I think it's gonna work. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this one in half. And I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to glue it at the same time. <laughs> I love it when we get an idea and we think it's it's and it's a good it's a good idea, right? And then this one is going to fold in half. I'm just letting that glue just hopefully warm up enough to. I've had the lid off this bottle, and I'm wondering if. The air has perhaps just made the glue not as effective as it should be. So just lining that up like that. So I want that folded in half just like that. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on this one. Fold it in half, get that glued in position. Brilliant. Okay, now... I'm just going to trim round. Now, if you've got a die, uh, a circle die, put your circle die over the top of this so that this all um, is really even because I've just cut that by hand, by eye, and you want yours to be as perfect as you can. So I've just cut mine like that, okay? Then I'm going to do the same with this one. I bet you're wondering, what on earth? Can anybody work out what I'm going to make with this? It's just, I think it's going to work really well. Uh, right, so I've got those two parts there. I'm trying not to say the word because otherwise it'll give away what I'm doing. Right, now, the next part of this, I need to fold up here, like that. Okay, so just get you there. And I need to do the same on this side here. So those two are going to go together like that. And then I need two pictures. So I'm going to get two of them. So we'll just use you for now. And I'm going to slide that inside there. So that's going to go in. Let's get the glue all the way around there. I think this picture might be a bit too big, so I'm going to slide that off there. Yep, perfect. That's one. Got it the right way up. I have. Right, then this one is going to go in here. This one's also a tiny bit big, so I'll just trim this. So take a bit more time at home when you're doing this. Right, that one's going to go in there. So I've got two pictures now. Right, now I need to decorate the front. So let's have a think about what we're going to use. I've got loads and loads of stuff here. So I'll put some daisies on this one. So we'll go 
with daisies on this side. So I'm just going to get this on fairly quickly. So we'll put you, yeah, so we'll trim that down to there and tuck that in. So we'll get daisies to there. Whoops. Put some more, more glue on. Can anybody guess yet what it's going to be? It's a specific thing. It's going to be a, to here. Right, this one needs, I'll do the same thing. So I'm going to put them on this side. So get all the little bits out. So no guesses yet. Uh, oops, a little bit there. Put me there. And this one, trim. So I've made a pair like that. Make sure you're glued. Oops. So put you both Oops. like that. Right, now I need another piece of card. So I'm just going to take a piece from here. Let's see. And I need to concertina it. I need to go backwards and forwards, backwards. Ooh, I've not got that level. So I need that level. So what I need to do here is get that crease level there. And this is literally, you're watching me designing as I go along. I'm just going to trim that out in there. Happy with that. I need some tape on here, like this, just there, and some tape just there. And God, what a mess. I'm, I've got a bit of a mess going on here, but it doesn't matter. So that tape comes off and that tape's going to come off. Now I've got to turn this over and this one is going to go in there like that. We would need, we need to get this much neater if you're doing this at home, but this is just because we're doing it like this. So that one's there. Get this, those two pieces together. So I've got a concertina piece in the middle here that's holding that together. Okay, so that's together like that. And then this is going to go, I go there on that one, there on this one. So that's one done. I don't know what I've done with the other one, but I'll find that in a second. So I'm doing this as I'm going, literally as I'm going along. Oh, come off. Don't come off, please. Not yet. Pop that on there. So I'm just going to get that tape. Wow, that tape doesn't want to come off at all. So it's one of those mornings for tapes. Okay. There. Yeah, a little bit there. Right. So you're going to go there and there. <laughs> I love it when we make something different. So this is going to be a handbag card. And I'm going to show you just how different you can take this wall and make it something that's completely different to anything that you imagined. Now, what we've got to do is the walls are not symmetrical and that's absolutely fine because we're gonna use our flowers 
to cover the lack of symmetry. But we'll need to make sure the handles are lined up. Otherwise, this bit doesn't work. Well, and to make that work, we need we also need to know that the glue will come off the backing. Come on, guys. Make your backing come off. There. Right. So I put two of them together like that. And I'm going to line it up like that. So there's my... <laughs> so here's my little handbag like like this. Okay, there's my little bag. But I've got this white brickwork that's showing at the side there. Now I've got a couple of choices. I could trim into this because of the way the bricks are done. Let me just see if I'm going to do that. Or I could fill it with flowers. I'm going to fill it with flowers. So I'm going to bring... I've got loads of these. So let's fill it with flowers. So we're going to just take this tape to here and fill. Right, now I've, now I've discovered and created this um, card like this. Makes me want to go on and have a look at other things that we could do that could be a little bit different that we could actually create. So that bit of the floral there, yeah. So another little tip for you then. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna lift this one up because it's not quite level. Just gonna lift that to there. Make sure that that lines those up, that's even better. Right, and then what I'm gonna need here to make this piece work is a piece of brick. So I'm gonna have to use this one, I think. There we go. I don't know if that's big enough. Just, are you big enough? Just about. So I'll get a piece of brick like, actually that there would cover that perfectly. So I'm just going to pop this, I need to fold it in half because it's got a crease in the middle. Uh, right. So I've got, here we go, this will work. Right. I hope you've managed to keep up because I know I've been rambling today and I'm almost finished but I'm just want to, I'll, I'll explain to you what I did to do it because I think this could, this could actually turn into quite a bit of fun. So we've got, oh what a mess, whoops, bit messy today. Right, so I'm taking this and I'm just going to use this over the middle there to just make that look nice and neat, a little bit neater, okay? Then when that folds in half, that actually, well, that crease that I created, so you saw me put a little crease in, that gives us that concertina that we need for that. That also gives us, let me open you up, so get you nice and sharp on those edges there. That also allows me to get this to stand. So that's going to be our stand. What I've then got to do, I'm just going to stand this up once more. So what I then need to do is just make sure that I fill the side with flowers so that I've covered up this little bit of the wall from the other side that you could see that doesn't look as good. So we do, or the other alternative is to line the walls up and take your scissors and cut into those bricks, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to do what I've just said, and I'm just gonna put this down this wall here. So we need to make sure we're working with plain white card instead of all these panel-y bits, because that's just made it look untidy. I would get one of my um, 
nook panels and I wouldn't cut the circle out but I'd use the plain die so the, the solid one put that over the top so it's all nice and neat and then I'm just going to take that and place you there so that you've got your flowers that are here if I just put you there and a little bit of glue on this bit this should do it. Right. Right. So let me just talk you through the things that you'd need to do to make this perfect. So first of all, I think we would want our daisies to come across the design. So that's one thing. So probably with that in mind, I would have taken them from this side and put them onto the other side because I think that would have looked nicer. And although having said that, just putting those there brings that whole story together. So that could be an option. So let's do, we'll go with that one. So that's one option. So then I love the way the handles have turned out and I love the way the shape of the bag and it's like a little shopper. So we've put some more daisies up the other side here so that this fills up my little shopping bag. Perfect. Right. The other thing that we need to do is take your Nook die, which is this collection, take this one and cut a plain panel in white. And then that is going to go on there and tidy everything up. So you're going to have it cut out of white. You'll put it over the top and it'll encapsulate everything. So it's all perfectly finished. Um, or if you wanted to do um, a different coloured inlay, so we have it so that it had got like a lining, that's another option that you could do. So you could do that, maybe tartan or something like that. Um, so that's just, lost my little flowers, pop you there. I'm going to come right down there and trim that off. But... This is a completely different idea of how you could be making a little shopper bag that's so different to anything that we've done before. And the only other thing that we then would need is um, using something as a little catch. And how about we got... One of our, two of our little cats, or no, the little birds would be better. Two little birds, and have I got two? No, it'll have to be cats. So we get, we put the glue at the top, not all the way down. So halfway over him, halfway. So you stick two of them together, halfway over. And he becomes the catch that holds the little bag together, just like that. So, of course, when your glue dries. <laughs> right, so there we go. Something completely different, a little bit off the wall. But oh, and he actually looks like he's sitting on the top of the wall looking out over the things. Just I wanted to do you something different. I think from this, you've got some great, really clever ideas. But what a nice way of being able to close your card up using that, using the wall as part of the design. And have a go at doing handbags. I think these could be fabulous. We could start a whole new collection of nature that we could carry around with us. There we go. That's it finished for you. Thank you once again for today. It's been my pleasure. Um, all the mistakes as well. Hope you've learned something from that, even if it is that you need to hold your glue a little bit longer before it dries. Take care. God bless everybody. See you all soon. Don't forget to watch us on YouTube and like and subscribe to our channel. We love having the opportunity to share ideas with you. Speak to you all soon. Take care. See you soon. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. 
and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.